You could see altcoins that implement different algorithms already. Litecoin, for example, implements an algorithm called Litecoin, script. Are you using the scripting like yes. Someone could use a different algorithm like SHA-512, or they could use you know, Blowfish, or any other hashing algorithm. You can use any form of uh, HMAC algorithm to do proof of work. Um, or, in fact, you can use any algorithm which has uh, essentially an asymmetric mathematical nature. What that means is that the effort to produce a solution is exponential, but the effort to verify the solution is linear. You could implement proof of work mining based on Sudoku. Sudoku is an, is an asymmetric problem. I can look at a Sudoku with a million lines and a million columns, and within milliseconds on a computer I can verify it's correct. Good luck finding that solution. It's going to be a lot harder. And there are a lot of mathematical problems that are asymmetric in nature. And you can pick any of those and use it as the fundamental proof of work algorithm. So um, we will see altcoins, and uh, they won't be successful because the network effect and and power behind the brands, the invested silicon, the network effect of Bitcoin, the ten peta hashes creates such enormous stickiness that unseating Bitcoin um, without Bitcoin having fundamentally failed is not going to happen. And I look at, for example, IPv4, which was a flawed protocol that at first couldn't do voice couldn't do video, couldn't scale to a global level, and yet we fixed all of those things by tweaking around the edges with network address translation and CIDR and uh, you know, packet prioritization and TCP IP QoS. Uh, and all of those things allowed us to do it. Why? Because we weren't going to replace TCP IP. And the reason we weren't going to be replacing it is because it's implemented in millions of pieces of hardware and it's known by millions of developers around the world, and that creates network effect. IP's network effect is so strong that IPv6 can't replace it. Its own upgrade can't displace it. And we've been trying for 16 years to upgrade the damn thing. So Bitcoin is good enough, and just like TCP was good enough, it displaced all other protocols because of the network effect. And because Bitcoin is good enough, and because the network effect of money is much bigger than any other network we've ever seen, I don't see any altcoins displacing it. What I do see is altcoins coexisting, primarily altcoins that have features that cannot be replicated by Bitcoin because they would fundamentally change the nature. For example, uh, Frycoin is an altcoin that uses a demurrage structure. It has a negative interest rate. It is inflationary, and your money actually degrades over time if you don't spend it. Bitcoin cannot cherry pick and adopt that feature because when it does, it's no longer Bitcoin. So there are some features that are fundamentally antithetical to the nature of Bitcoin. All of the other features, it can let the altcoin test it out, let the market prove it, cherry pick it, stick it in the core protocol, bye bye altcoin, and Bitcoin goes to new heights. So it's an experiment. The altcoins become a laboratory for testing new features, and they're great for that. They're also a great laboratory for testing failure modes, because we can't do 51% attacks on Bitcoin. But we sure can do them on Terracoin, and it was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Terracoin imploded spectacularly, and we were able to examine uh, what happens when you do a 51% attack, how you prevent it, and also what happens when the difficulty overtakes the hashing power. So you end up with hashing power being withdrawn from the network, and the difficulty is so high that you can't recalculate the next block, so you can't retarget the difficulty, so the entire network freezes. And we saw that executed in Terracoin. Uh, we could not do that on Bitcoin. So you have this mini laboratory where you can simulate failure modes with bugs, with all kinds of other things. So that's what the altcoins do. But the chances of an altcoin unseating Bitcoin are nil, in my opinion. Bitcoin will unseat itself through a bug that blows it up, maybe, and that's really improbable. But it won't be unseated by an altcoin. What's the that the first block was like 50 Bitcoin, the next one uh, 25? Why did it start like 100 Bitcoin? <coughs> Um, so that's an interesting question. If you look at the choices of numbers that Satoshi had, um, they're not arbitrary. Uh, 21 million coins produce it with that geometric uh, de-escalation produces a currency that very, very closely uh, emulates the physical characteristics of precious metal mining. So the uh, geometric degradation of profit or margin in the extraction of the resource is exactly the same as you would see in, in a scarce precious metal like gold or palladium or uh, silver or something like that. And, and so it was a very deliberate choice of numbers. Uh, 50 was arbitrary. 
if they picked 100 and then it had half the value, you're exactly back where you were. So it doesn't really make a difference. 